The White House says Israel has agreed to put in place four hour daily humanitarian pauses in its attack on Hamas in northern Gaza. President Joe Biden had asked Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu to institute the daily pauses earlier this week. Officials say the Israelis committed to announcing each four hour window at least three hours in advance. But today, all around the country, there was a nationwide protest calling for a ceasefire at the Gaza Strip. Good evening, I'm Brian Yacona. And I'm Amanda Hill. At the University of Southern Maine, students made their voices heard, but other local protesters have faced arrest in the past few days. News Center Maine's Jack Mullman has more. Across the nation today and the world, protesters calling for a ceasefire between Israel and Hamas. To shut it down for Palestine, to show our solidarity with the Palestinian people. Nico Herkins is a student at UMaine Augusta, but says he wanted to support students at the University of Southern Maine as they held a shut it down for Palestine protest. For Israel to stop this relentless assault on Gaza and our elected officials are not following their lead. Our elected officials should be held to the concerns and demands of the people. And Thursday's event at USM was just the most recent protest for the Palestinian people in Maine. Free, free Palestine! Free, free Palestine! Just this week, seven protesters in Bangor arrested outside Jared Golden's office. Protesters there are calling on Golden to ask for a ceasefire in Gaza. And in Portland over the weekend, five protesters asking Congresswoman Shelley Pingree to call for a ceasefire also arrested. Portland police telling us they were arrested for criminal trespassing. It's ridiculous that these figures that are elected by us think it's trespassing for us to sit and demand to be listened to when we're not being listened to. But on Thursday, these protesters were not only calling for a ceasefire, but wanting to educate the public about the massive loss of life in this war. We demand that all of our elected representatives here in Maine sign on to the demand for a ceasefire and we end the siege of Gaza. In Portland, Jack Mullmet, News Center, Maine. Representatives from Jared Golden's office declined to comment on the Bangor arrests of seven protesters. Shelley Pingree's office did not respond to our email requests asking for comment.